Okay, this is the Xbox Series S, and I've got the one. I got the hard drive. I'm sorry, the SSD. And I'm I'm. This is a big game, so I'm transferring Battlefield um, Five, which wasn't the best Battlefield, but you know I have it. I am now going to transfer it from the actual console to the small SSD, one terabyte. Let's see how fast it goes. Look at that, 82 gigabytes. Now, if you all had consoles, the PS4, the Xbox One prior to, you know it takes forever. Look at the speed on this. It's going to take less than a minute to transfer data wise. That's what's hot about the new generation, not the graphics yet. Or even the games on the PS5, Xbox One, Xbox, I mean, Xbox Series X or S. It's this stuff where it moves games. Hey, it went up to a minute 34. But just look how fast it goes. This thing used to take three, four hours because of a hard drive. That's impressive. And what I want to do is since I have the Series X coming in on, I think, Tuesday, I'm downloading them to this hard drive so I can just move it straight to that which is one terabyte. I'm sorry, the SSD drive. I'm, I'm, I keep saying hard drive, even though that's not what it is. This is how fast this thing moves. And this is in 4K, which people say the Xbox Series S couldn't do it. It plays Xbox games in so first party. You know, if you got the Game Pass, it'll play it in 4K, 60 frames, up to 120. But 1080p or 1440p. So the Xbox Series X, the only bad part, the Series S, the only bad part about it is the memory. Everything else... Purifier. 